I yield uh, two minutes uh, to my friend, the gentleman from California, Mr. Miller. The gentleman from California is recognized for two minutes. Without objection. Speaker, members of the House, I thank the remarks from the gentleman from Florida that we would have an opportunity to vote on the student loan bill uh, to, to make sure uh, that, uh, the, that we don't do what, the, what millions of American students and their families have asked us not to do, and that is they don't want us to double their debt. But in less than 100 hours, if we don't get the vote uh, that Mr. Hastings is talking about, in less than 100 hours, millions of American college students may see their student debt increase because of the Republican obstructionism. It's unfortunate that it has come to this. This issue shouldn't be partisan. It's about doing the right thing on behalf of millions of students and their families all across the country. It's a simple choice. We can help students achieve an education, and one that they can afford, and the skills that they need to be successful. Or we can put, handle, we can put more hurdles in their way and increase the already skyrocketing debt burden that students absorb as they graduate from college. After more than a year of ignoring this issue, a year ago we were in this position, and a year ago we voted to keep the student loan rate at three and three quarters percent, and nothing has been done until recently, and then the Republicans came up with an idea that was really bad. It was worse than doubling the interest rate on July 1st. It was more expensive to the students than doubling the interest rates. It's not a smart solution. It's a terrible solution. It's terrible for students. It's terrible for their families. And after a year of ignoring this issue, the Republicans foisted this harmful idea onto the House floor. And when the Republican bill hit the floor, they refused to allow a vote on a rational plan like the Courtney bill that stops this doubling of the interest rates and allows this Congress to examine and develop a long-term solution as part of the Higher Education Reauthorization Act. But despite trumpeting their plan was the same as President Obama's, when the Democrats offered President Obama's actual plan, they blocked that vote too. So they won't keep the interest rates from doubling. They won't do a plan that they said is just like theirs. And, th and on July 1st, an additional one minute. Gentleman from the gentleman. California is recognized for an additional one minute. And on July 1st, those interest rates are going to double on millions of students as they start this school year in August and September. The time for obstruction has passed. It's time to keep the rates low and to work on a long-term solution. It's time to stop asking college students and their families to bear an unfair burden of paying down the Bush deficits. The Republicans have chosen to stand, the Democrats have chosen to stand with the students and families trying to access, access the American dream. We can do this. Millions of f families and students have asked us, don't double their debt. And yet on July 1st, because of the Republican obstructionism, that's what's going to happen to these, uh, to these students. It's very unfortunate. It adds an additional $1,000 to the four years of college. We should not do that at this time in this economy for these students and families. I thank the gentleman for yielding.